book 337. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today I'm going to tell you guys about the day God stopped forgiving mankind. That's right. The day God stopped forgiving mankind. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, A long, long time ago, a father and his two sons were sitting around the house and the youngest son was playing with a ball. The father, who was one of my ancestors no less, heard a loud crash and went to go investigate. When he did, he saw that his youngest son had broken one of his statues with the ball. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the youngest son said. I did not mean to do that. Picking up the broken pieces, the father replied, I forgive you, my son. When the eldest son heard this, he became angry with his father and said that he always forgave his brother, no matter how bad his transgression was. And he asked his father why he did that. The father thought about the best way to answer the question and he decided to tell his son a story. Well, my son, the father said, a long, long time ago, there was a great line of people in the afterlife waiting to have their hearts weighed so that they could be judged and either rewarded or punished. The God of Sar, who stood and judged mankind for the great God Amun Ra, was being very lenient in his judgment, and he was forgiving many humans for their transgressions and allowing them to be rewarded with a blessed afterlife. Because of this, many of the righteous people waiting in line got angry. They began to murmur and whisper to each other that Asar's judgment was not fair. After all, they had spent their entire lives following the edicts of the gods and denying themselves physical pleasures in order to be rewarded. And now they were seeing people who indulged in their lust receiving the same reward. They all said they should not have even wasted time honoring the gods in life. The son of Asar, the god Heru, heard their memory and he repeated their words to Asar, and Asar was troubled by what he heard. It appeared that by forgiving the wicked, he was inadvertently punishing the good. Not wanting to punish the good without cause, Asar decided to no longer offer forgiveness in his judgments, and instead he said he would hold all humans accountable for everything that they said and did. The righteous people in line were happy again when they saw the wicked being punished. After this, the good man who initiated the complaint against forgiveness approached the sword and his heart was placed on the scale to be weighed. The god Tehuti recorded the results in a book and the sword proclaimed that the good man would be punished in the afterlife. The good man was shocked and he pointed out all of the good things he had done in his life. Asar agreed that he had done that which was right and correct, but he had also done that which was wrong at times. In fact, everyone alive had done wrong at some point, and even the best of mankind needed to be forgiven for something. Realizing his mistake, the good man asked Asar if he could be forgiven for his wrong acts. Asar told him that he could indeed be forgiven, but that would mean all others would have the option of being forgiven for certain bad deeds as well. The good man, along with all of the other righteous people waiting in line to be judged, declared that they wanted Asar to begin forgiving mankind again. And so, Asar decided to once again offer forgiveness to mankind. And so, the father concluded, This is why I forgive your brother, and this is why I forgive you. I know that one day I too will require forgiveness, and I pray that the God grant it to me. And so, the morning motivation of the day is, the day God stopped forgiving mankind. It is okay to hold people accountable for their actions, and there are indeed some actions which are truly heinous indeed. However, for the majority of mistakes that people make, it is wise and just to offer them forgiveness for what they have done. It is not so much that you forgive them because you condone what they have done, but rather you forgive them because you understand that you too will require forgiveness one day. So today, I want you to think about what people have done unto you and consider which things you can reasonably forgive. Then, I want you to forgive that person for that incorrect act. Move on with your life as if that thing never happened to you and always strive to do that which is good. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning. To order books in the Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels book series, search Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels on Amazon.com or visit www.dandyandbighern.com.